Our journey begins in the humble settings of St. Anne's Bay, Jamaica, where Marcus Messiah Garvey was born on August 17, 1887. He was the youngest of 11 children, only two of whom survived into adulthood. His parents were hard-working people who instilled in him the values of dignity and self-reliance at a young age. Growing up in a society deeply rooted in colonialism and racial discrimination, Garvey witnessed firsthand the stark disparities and injustices faced by black people. These early experiences ignited a spark within him, a burning desire to challenge the status quo and fight for equality. As he grew older, his thirst for knowledge and understanding of the world led him to leave the confines of his small town. He ventured across Central America and Europe, observing the plight of black people beyond the borders of his homeland. He saw the same patterns of inequality and discrimination repeating itself, further fueling his resolve to make a difference. In Costa Rica, he worked on a banana plantation and witnessed the harsh working conditions of the laborers. In London, he saw how black people were marginalized and struggled to find decent housing and employment. These experiences amplified his understanding of the global scale of racial inequality. He realized that it was not just a local issue confined to Jamaica, but a global one affecting millions of black people across the world. Garvey's travels also exposed him to various political ideologies and philosophies. He read extensively, immersing himself in works by influential thinkers like Booker T. Washington. These ideas shaped his worldview and laid the foundation for his vision of a united and empowered African diaspora. Throughout his early life, Garvey was a keen observer and a passionate learner. His experiences, both in Jamaica and abroad, served as the catalyst for his lifelong commitment to racial equality. He saw the struggles of his people and he felt their pain. But more importantly, he believed in their potential and their right to a life of dignity and respect. These experiences would fuel Garvey's passion for racial equality and set the stage for his future endeavors. In 1914, a milestone event occurred. Garvey founded the Universal Negro Improvement Association in Jamaica. This remarkable establishment was more than just an organization. It was a beacon of hope and a rallying cry for unity among people of African descent around the globe. The mission of the UNIA was as audacious as it was clear. To unite people of African descent, to uplift their spirits, and to instill a deep sense of pride in their rich heritage. Garvey's vision was not confined to the borders of his home country. The UNIA swiftly garnered followers across the Caribbean and even reached the shores of the United States. It became a platform for black people to voice their concerns, aspirations and dreams. It was an avenue for them to express, express their unique identities while celebrating their shared African heritage. Garvey was a passionate advocate for cultural diversity. He believed in the power and beauty of uniqueness. He saw the potential in every individual and encouraged them to embrace their distinct identities. At the same time, he emphasized the importance of acknowledging and honoring their common African roots. This celebration of both individuality and shared heritage was at the heart of his vision for the UNIA. The UNIA was not just about fostering unity and pride. It was also about inspiring action. Garvey encouraged black people to take control of their destinies, to strive for economic independence and to build strong self-reliant communities. He saw the UNIA as a vehicle for collective empowerment, a means to break the chains of inequality and discrimination. Garvey's UNIA was a beacon of hope, uniting people of African descent and instilling a sense of pride in their heritage. It was a bold declaration of self-worth, a call to action, and a testament to the power of unity. Through the UNIA, Garvey lit a torch that continues to illuminate the path towards equality and empowerment. One of Garvey's most revolutionary ideas was the Back to Africa movement. This was not just a call to return physically to the African continent, but a clarion call to all African descendants worldwide to embrace their roots and heritage. Garvey's vision was of a world where people of African descent, scattered across the globe due to the transatlantic slave trade, 
would return to their ancestral homeland, reconnect with their roots, and create a united, self-sufficient African nation. The Back to Africa movement was a bold and ambitious initiative, one that was met with both enthusiasm and resistance. Garvey's dream of repatriation was grand, but the practicalities were daunting. There were logistical challenges, political hurdles and opposition from both within and outside the black community. Some saw it as an unattainable dream, an impractical solution to the problems facing black people globally. Yet Garvey remained undeterred, steadfast in his vision. But the Back to Africa movement was about more than just physical repatriation. It was about cultural and psychological liberation. It was about instilling pride in African heritage about reclaiming identity and history that had been erased or distorted. It was about fostering unity among a people who had been scattered and divided, and in many ways, it succeeded. The Back to Africa movement ignited a sense of empowerment among black communities worldwide. It sparked a renewed interest in African history and culture. It inspired people of African descent to take pride in their heritage and to strive for self-determination and autonomy. Indeed, while the dream of mass repatriation may not have been fully realized, the spirit of the Back to Africa movement lived on. It resonated in the hearts of those who heard Garvey's call, inspiring them to stand tall, to celebrate their heritage, and to strive for equality and justice. Despite the obstacles, Garvey's dream of a united, self-sufficient African diaspora was alive and resonating. This was the power of Marcus Garvey's vision, a vision that continues to inspire and empower to this day. Garvey believed in the power of education as a tool for empowerment. He saw it as a beacon of hope, a catalyst for change, and a force that could dismantle the walls of racial discrimination. He realized that knowledge was a potent weapon that could challenge the status quo and reshape society. Garvey's emphasis on education was not just about acquiring facts or gaining qualifications. It was about fostering critical thinking, nurturing Garvey believed in the power of education as a tool for empowerment, self-respect and cultivating a sense of identity. He understood that education was a lifeline that could lift individuals out of the cycle of poverty and disenfranchisement. Just as Marcus Garvey championed the cause of racial equality, he also fought for equal access to education. He believed in the right of every individual, regardless of their race or social standing, to have the opportunity to learn, to grow, and to strive towards their full potential. But education, in Garvey's view, was not merely an individual pursuit. He envisioned it as a collective effort, a shared responsibility. He saw the educated as the torchbearers of society, tasked with enlightening others and passing on the baton of knowledge. In the spirit of Garvey's vision, we can empower others by supporting education and promoting that are inclusive, that cater to the diverse needs of students, and that foster a sense of belonging. We can champion initiatives that bridge the gap in educational opportunities, that provide resources for marginalized communities, and that ensure every individual has a fair shot at success. We can promote curricula that celebrate cultural diversity, that teach the history of all peoples, and that inspire students to respect and appreciate the richness of our global heritage. By doing so, we are not only empowering individuals, but also strengthening communities. We are creating a society that is informed, empathetic and inclusive. A society where everyone is equipped with the knowledge to make informed decisions, to challenge injustices and to contribute positively to their communities. In the spirit of Garvey's vision, we can empower others by supporting education and promoting cultural understanding. In doing so, we are not just honoring Garvey's legacy, but we are also shaping a future where everyone, irrespective of their background, has the opportunity to thrive. Marcus Garvey's vision and activism left an enduring legacy that continues to inspire social justice advocates today. His revolutionary ideas centered on black empowerment and racial pride were foundational pillars of the civil rights movements of the 20th century. It was Garvey's call for unity and self-determination that stirred the hearts of millions, sparking a global conversation on racial and cultural diversity. 
The echoes of Garvey's ideals were heard loud and clear in the impassioned speeches of Malcolm X, the tenacious activism of Martin Luther King Jr., and the resilient spirit of Rosa Parks. These iconic figures and countless others were influenced by a background could live in dignity and equality. However, Garvey's legacy extends beyond the realm of civil rights. His ideas have permeated the fabric of society, encouraging us to engage in conversations about racial and cultural diversity. These discussions are not meant to highlight our differences, but to celebrate them, to appreciate the unique perspectives and experience that each one of us brings to the table. In the words of Garvey himself, the ends you serve that are selfish will take you no further than yourself. But the ends you serve that are for all in common will take you into eternity. But the ends you serve that are for all in common will take you into eternity, to his time. It transcends boundaries resonating with us even today, reminding of unity and diversity. Garvey's legacy serves as a beacon, guiding us towards a future where every voice is heard, every culture is respected, and every individual is empowered. His life and work inspire us to continue the fight for equality, to challenge, serves as a beacon, guiding us towards a future where every voice is heard, every culture is respected, and every individual is empowered. His life and work inspire us to continue the fight for equality, to challenge reminding us of the importance of unity in diversity. Garvey's legacy, the status quo, and to strive for a world where everyone can thrive. By promoting education,